A police department downriver is getting a major upgrade to its force. Last month, the Taylor City Council approved a one-year lease for a robot dog for the department. Today, it was delivered, and they're showing it off. CBS News Detroit's Andres Gutierrez is at the Taylor Police Headquarters with an up-close look. Here in Taylor, there is one canine on the force used to sniff out explosives. Here we have Rad Dog. It's going to be joining the force, not to replace her, but instead working right alongside her. If Rad Dog is being hurt by somebody with bad intentions, that means that an officer is not being hurt. Made in Ferndale, Rad Dog's main mission is to go into situations that could potentially put lives in danger. Although it's unarmed, it is equipped with five cameras. Instead of putting that officer at risk, and possibly escalating a situation, we could send our robotic dog in to take a look, be our eyes and ears, and give us a layout of what's inside um, where officers may have to encounter them at a later time. Taylor PD is the first in the metro to work with the manufacturer robotic assistance devices to acquire this cutting edge tool for policing. So that we now can evolve Rad Dog moving forward through the cooperation of Taylor so we can get feedback every day on exactly how Rad Dog's performing so we can make improvements when needed. Other major cities like New York have deployed robot dogs in search and rescue operations like when a parking garage collapsed last spring, killing one person and injuring five others. The fire department bought this one for $75,000. In Los Angeles, the price tag was $278,000 but came as a donation from the Police Foundation. In Taylor, the City Council approved the $32,500 one-year lease last month for the Rad Dog, but it's not costing taxpayers anything. The funds come from money seized in federal forfeiture. We're going to become creative uh, how we fund this project, but again, we feel it's very, very valuable, uh, can potentially save lives, prevent injury, and prevent officers from having to use serious um, force, in, including deadly force. And so right now, officers here in Taylor are still training with Rad Dog. That training expected to be wrapped up by the end of the month. Reporting in Taylor, Andres Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.